Why are so many Americans unhappy with the economy? Researchers might have the answer. The headline inflation metric, the Consumer Price Index, has been reportedly wrong for decades. What does that mean for us? The actual price pressures that we're feeling and the hardships that we're going through are much worse than reported. Economic uncertainty means you have to keep up with what's happening. Make sure you subscribe and we'll keep you in the know. Survey after survey says the same thing. Americans are just not very enthusiastic about our president's economy. A poll conducted late last year by the Financial Times and the University of Michigan found that only 14% of American voters believe they're better off now than when the president took office. Last month, a Gallup poll revealed that just 36% of the country approves of the president's handling of the economy. And according to a recent survey by Pew Research, roughly three quarters of the country says strengthening the economy should be the top policy priority of 2024. Last week, the president raved in his State of the Union address that the U.S. economy is the, quote, envy of the world. Researchers at the International Monetary Fund and Harvard University claim the disconnect exists because the nation's headline cost of living measure is miscalculated. They say it doesn't reflect the severity of price pressures because it doesn't take into account the cost of money or interest rates. The study points out that since 2021, the monthly interest payment on an average house purchased with a 30-year fixed rate mortgage has more than tripled. Since the beginning of the global health crisis, the average interest payment on a new car loan has jumped by more than 80%. The researchers added, these increases in the cost of living do not make it into economists' measures of inflation. So the cost of living may not make it into economists' measures these days, but they used to. From 1953 until 1983, the full weight of total housing expenses was reflected in CPI by taking house prices, mortgage interest rates, property taxes, and insurance and maintenance costs as inputs. The exclusion of these costs means that the current methodology excludes a central part of consumers' financial well-being, researchers note. The researchers also note that consumers are likely to closely monitor the financing cost of their automobiles, but that those costs remain absent from measurements of the cost of living as well. Here's the punchline. The researchers say if CPI included borrowing cost, it would have peaked around 18% in November 2022 and would still be around 8% today. The economic story being told by mainstream media may be misleading to anyone who isn't digging into the data. For example, buried in the same December 2023 payroll report that crowed about 216,000 new jobs is an item showing that the number of people with full-time jobs fell by 1.5 million that month. Officially, there's a mystery about why Americans are so unhappy with the economy. After all, all the headline numbers look fantastic. Personally, I don't think there's a mystery. What do we all want to do? Put food on the table. And putting food on the table is getting harder and harder. Mystery solved. That's why I suggest you take the time to learn more about what's really going on in the economy by attending our exclusive one-on-one -on -one web conference at AugustaPreciousMetals.com slash web conference.